Okay, alright, so this is the final video where I kind of demo to you how to animate this ball. Again, just to repeat, it needs to be a minimum of four bounces. How many bounces we got? One, two, two bounce. So you need to do four. So I'm gonna just gonna do this many, just two bounces, just to demo it to you. Um, must come to a stop in the frame. Use the character rigs, uh, which is our Toyota rig that we have here. All right, first things first, we already have an animation here. So I'm gonna delete this one, this animation first. So that's just um, okay. See what's convenient. I don't really need to select the the controls to delete it. I can see even if I don't select anything, even if there's nothing here, I can just shift and left mouse button there, and I know I'm selecting all the keys. I can see the keys on the timeline. I press right mouse button and delete. So now it's all gone. If I scrub it, there's no animation at all. Alright, so let's do this. Um, right. And I'm, I'm just gonna show you the character set editor. And let's see. My character set is all correct, so I can be sure that I'm, I will animate properly. So at frame 12, so I'll go to frame 12. Here, I press S. Press S, and the ball should be up there. So I select the main control like so. And I say ball go up because I want to make you come down. Cool. So that's at frame 12. Now, the next one, um, tell you what, before doing this, I want to do the one down here. So, frame 22. So, I'll go to frame 22. I'll press S and press F here. I know that this main control has been selected, so I'll just move it down here. What happens it will squash so I squash by using the top part so I select the top part I'm gonna close um, let's just move it away side so I'm gonna select the top control which is the upper control and that's what I'm going to use to squash it down like that right uh, let me just zoom in a bit it feels like it's actually eating the the floor so I'll just move it up a bit okay Oop. right so now I have that drawing and this drawing cool I'll zoom out a bit okay next we know that at frame 21 uh, it will stretch so just before that frame 21 I will make it stretch and I will stretch it like that and also rotate it a bit because it needs to follow a nice arc like that using my comma and dot I can see how the ball is moving right now it's not moving the way I want you know why because if I were to track the center so that's the center so if it's going to squash technically it should drop here but now it's dropping here so that's the center so that means I need to move this guy I mean either one, either this guy or this guy. So I say um, move this guy. So I select the main control and move it a bit here. And go press comma and see whether it's actually squashing there correctly. Not bad. Maybe I should rotate it a bit, move it up just a bit. I'll say that is not bad for now or maybe rotate it a bit more so with comma and dot I can very quickly go from one drawing to the next okay it's not too bad so next we have um, um, I'll say I, I'm, I'm gonna do this I'm not gonna bother with this yet I'll fix it later on so at frame 22 so that's frame 21 22 frame 23 is when it goes up and stretch so go to frame 23 I press alternate dot to go one frame further and press S and then I will select this make it go up and maybe I'll stretch it first so I'll stretch it out select that main control rotate it a bit like that uh, use my comma and dot to see where it's 
That feels correct. It's not too bad for now. Okay. And at frame 29, I'm gonna do top one. Remember, I'm not going to do the ones that's closer to the top just yet. So at frame 29, and because I can't see it, I'll just drag this. So at frame 29, press S. Remember, you have to press S first. So that creates a key for all the controls set in our character set. Frame 29, I say, let's zero out that. So it's back to normal. But we need to place the ball up here. And I will rotate it that way. And I'll make it straight. So I'll zero that out. Rotate X becomes zero. And let's just flip the drawings. So I'm going back and forth here, comma and dot. I don't like to scrub it now. See, because if I scrub it, it's not actually giving me a nice animation. That's not what I want. So I don't want to be distracted by um, you know all this twinning that Maya is doing for us. So I like to use comma and dot. It's much more... It's like we're just looking at the drawings. We're not really concerned how it moves from one drawing to the next just yet. So that's not too bad. And I will say I'll do this. So frame 36 here, press S, and this ball should move down here. Okay. And then I know at frame 35, it stretches. So I go one frame back, alternate comma, press S. Remember, got to press S first, even though you have a character set. Pressing S creates a key for everyone, all the for all the controls in your character set. So then I'll move it in place. Use comma and dot. I'll say that's the middle. So therefore it should kind of start here and... Oh, I forgot to squash it. So here I need to squash it. Squash it down. So it should go there. Right, let's just move it just a bit here. Okay, that's not too bad. So we're at frame 37 now. So we're going to go one frame there. Frame 37. Press S. Don't forget to press S. Stretch it out. Because it's immediately after, after a squash. In one frame, it straight away goes to a stretch. So let's just move it into position. Right, that's not too bad. But I think I want it to kind of leave the frame. So I will make it squash. Uh, and then it will kind of go in that direction. So it's a bigger, I'll say, it's a bigger arc. So it will squash it and leave the frame. Maybe a bit down here. Rotate it. So pressing Q allows you to see it without the transformations. I think this is doing what I want. I mean, as it is, it's not too bad. Now is the time we put in the ease. Because we know that from here to here, it's 6 frames. Frame 12 to frame 18. See, 6 frames. So we're going to do the ease at the top. Means that it's going to span a bit longer at the top here. So going back here, frame 18. Um, all right, And also, it needs to move in an arc. As it is now, it's moving in a straight line. This is not what we want. We want. If you look at your planning, it's moving in a curve, in an arc. So at frame 18, or maybe I tweak it later, but at frame 18, I press S. And I will actually lessen this a bit. If you're wondering, like, how come my um, translation tool is pointing that way? Well, remember we can always change the uh, orientation axis by holding W, left mouse button, and you can choose from world to object. If it's world, you're going to get that. Uh, it might be okay, but what you're doing is you're also changing the Z value when you're doing that. So I don't like it to be that way. See, if I do that, I uh, introduce values in Z, so I'm going to undo that. Hold W, left mouse button, I'm going to use object instead, and that way I know if I'm moving it this way, I'm just affecting the transit Y. Right, anyway, we want this drawing, this drawing here, to be closer to that guy. So I'm going to select the main control, 
move it closer to that guy before so it's here and I'm gonna use the mouse cursor to kind of uh, uh, see where it was so it's there so it's kind of here and also the stretch isn't as big as that one so I'm gonna lessen the stretch a bit and then I that means I need to tweak this again so I'm gonna flip the drawings and I'll say maybe here a bit and I will also lessen the rotate like that maybe the stretch could be lessened as well alright uh, maybe down a bit alright that's not too bad so it's moving in a nice arc if I were to track this um, you know it's here it's here it's here so it's a nice arc going on and I will do the same with this arc going up so at frame 25 press S and I know I want it to be closer to here not here it has to be closer to here see it's closer to that drawing so I'll just move it up press dot to see okay that's where I need to go make it a bit closer lessen the stretch okay and press dot to see that okay that's where it should be maybe it's too close lessen it a bit and also the rotates should be lessened because it's coming back to the normal position and yes this is moving in a nice arc and let's do the uh, two final drawings at frame 33 so I press S here again the idea is to keep make it closer to this guy so I'll move it in place lessen the stretch lessen the rotates as well perhaps make sure that it's going to move in an arc you can only know that if you flip the drawings pressing comma and dot and looking at it again and again now it feels like it's moving in a nice arc isn't it you can tell it's not a straight line anymore it means that going from here to here is not a straight line it's moving in an arc all right and finally let's do this part so i know at frame 43 i missed that drawing so i'll go to here press s uh tell you what i'm gonna fix the planning a bit i don't want this um or maybe i do okay i'll just do that so uh, zero that out and it will come back to normal that means uh, the rotates are zero and I'll move it kind of here alright so that's what I want maybe I could draw uh, put in that drawing as well so at frame it says frame 39 press S uh, I'll say um, lessen that perhaps lessen the rotates as well make it closer to that guy <coughs> maybe that's too close lessen that a bit okay that's looking funny um, tell you what I'm gonna tweak the the animation a bit I'll say delete that guy so here and um, <coughs> delete this guy too okay and somewhere at frame 40 I'll say just leave the frame and kind of you know rotate oh careful don't move two axis at once see we're having too many values here so un undo we just want uh, values in the rotate so I'll just rotate a bit make it a big stretch <coughs> and flip the drawings so that's what's gonna happen instead so if you scrub the animation you're getting something already with just you know specifying the drawings properly if you get the drawings correct at the right position if you do comma and dot you can see that your animation starting to work already now it's just a matter of uh, going into the graph editor so windows animation graph editor and what we need to do is you press a you need to kind of make sure all of this graph 
uh, just like the bouncing ball we did in lab assignment one has been fixed in terms of the tangents it's nice and flowing uh, that's nice eases and we actually make it flow rather than keep it all linear and straight like this so we're gonna do that in the next video so I will stop this one and do try out this one give it a try see whether you're able to do this and then we can go and start working in the graph editor you also notice that I never open the graph editor when I'm setting the keys so I don't bother with the graph editor while in uh, the blocking stage this is what we call the blocking stage blocking out all our drawings Alright, see you in the next video.